All right, libertarians. Today, we're winning over conservatives. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Instead of focusing on winning arguments, we're teaching the basic fundamentals of sales and marketing and how we can use them to win in the world of politics, teaching you how to meet people where they're at on the issues they care about. Welcome to The Brian Nichols Show. Well, happy Wednesday there. Brian Nichols here on The Brian Nichols Show. And thank you for joining us on, of course, another fun-filled episode. I am, as always, your humble host, joining you live from our Stratus IP studios here in lovely eastern Indiana. Don't let cyber attacks or outdated business technology put your company at risk. Learn more at briannicholshow.com. All right, yes, this is an episode for libertarians to learn how to win over conservatives. Now, we're going to be talking about that specifically today because I argue, I have argued here on the show many a time that I fundamentally believe that there is some commonalities between the libertarian and conservative movements, and we need to be focusing on building bridges there. Uh, we need to address some common misconceptions, and most importantly, if you're a libertarian, you need to win some of those folks over. So we're going to dig into that today and more. But first, let's start off by quickly outlining, well, what is libertarianism? We've touched on this a few times here in more recent episodes, but for those of you who haven't heard more recently, here is what it means to be a libertarian. Libertarianism is uh, rooted in the ideas of classical liberalism, which emerged in the late 18th century as a response to the prevailing feudal and monarchical systems. Classical liberals believed in the sanctity of individual, light, uh, individual rights, that is, limited government and free markets. Libertarianism, as a distinct philosophy, emerged in the 20th century and has evolved over the decades and is now a very large, broad-based, sometimes scattered movement that includes various schools of thought, such as anarcho-capitalists, ANCAPs, minarchists, classical liberals, and heck, even some folks who consider themselves left-leaning libertarians. So what do libertarians actually believe? Well, at its core, libertarianism is the belief in non-aggression, uh, in the non-aggression principle, which states that no one may initiate force against another person or property, namely, don't hurt people and don't take their stuff. Libertarians believe in the sovereignty of the individual and the power of voluntary exchange. They advocate for a minimal state that protects individual rights, which of course is even today still debated by many libertarians, enforces contracts and defends the country from external threats. Libertarians believe in a free markets, free, spree, uh, free speech, and freedom of association approach to governance. And here are some common misconceptions uh, that libertarians tend to uh, have that turn off conservatives. One common misconception is that libertarians are outright anarchists who want to abolish all forms of government. Now, while there are some folks in our, our libertarian camp who absolutely are anarchists and want to abolish all forms of government, I would dare say that's not the majority, dare I say, the plur uh, plurality of all libertarians. Uh, another is that libertarians are isolationist and don't care about national security. And of course, some conservatives view libertarians far too extreme on social issues. What is that? Abortion, same-sex marriage, trans rights, you go through the list. So how do we win over these conservatives? Can we win over these conservatives? Well, in order to win over these conservatives, which I think we should try to at least, we need to first emphasize on our shared values, our common ground. And I think we should focus on issues like limited government, individual rights, and free markets. They need to be clear about what they stand for and explain their ideas in a way that resonate to conservatives. Libertarians, you need to be respectful and show that you're not just against the government, but you are for something, for a more prosperous society, a better society. And by finding common ground and building those relationships, we can win conservatives over to our cause. So in conclusion, libertarians, yes, we are a philosophy that offers a fresh perspective both in the world of politics, but also in the world of public policy. And by understanding the history of libertarianism, what we believe and how we can use those shared values to win over conservatives, we can build a coalition that can really make a substantive change in our country. And let's focus on what unites us versus what divides us and work towards a freer, more prosperous 
prosperous, there we go, future. Uh, and with that being said, that's what I have for you today, guys. If you got some value from today's episode, please go ahead and uh, let me know. I would love to hear about it. And do you think it's worth our time to try and win over conservatives? I think so. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, if, the, of course, you're joining us here on YouTube, which I hope you are. Uh, well, if we're still on YouTube, that is, which we are, we've been doing pretty good on YouTube. So fingers crossed the YouTube overlords haven't nuked us yet. Uh, but with that being said, we are over on Rumble and on Odyssey, wherever it is you get your video content. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and little notification bell so you don't say single time we go live. Otherwise, I know 99% of you guys go ahead and listen to the show over on the podcast version of the show, but there's so much more that you're missing. So go ahead and click your podcast catcher artwork. It'll bring you to briannicholsshow.com where you can find today's episode, the transcript from today's episode. You can find my free eBooks, how to win, uh, how to win, how to win friends and influence people. That's a great book. You should read Dale Carnegie. No, how to win your local election. And then four easy steps. You can uh, implement now to sell liberty to friends and family. Both are free ebooks and they're available over at briannicholsshow.com. And oh, by the way, we have over 682 other episodes that are there ready for your listening pleasure. So please, if you are a brand new listener, well, hey, first of all, hey, thanks for joining the show. Number two, hit that download all unplayed episodes button in your podcast catcher and start listening from episode one all the way back when I was a mere phantom menace and I was talking about how libertarians won't be taken seriously until we take ourselves seriously. And then I proceeded to go ahead and eviscerate the then vice chair in my second episode. Good times. He's no longer a vice chair either. Also good times. Uh, but with that being said, folks, thank you so so much for joining us. And with that being said, if you got some value from today's episode beyond going ahead and continuing the conversation, I would greatly appreciate a little bit of support here in the show. That's how we keep the lights on. So $1.99 a month, you can become an audience insider. Please head over to briannicholsshow.com. Join us as an audience insider and you too can not only get some awesome behind the scenes perks, continue the conversation with yours truly uh, in our Patreon, but also you can network with some amazing liberty-minded folks who are trying to help people win in the world of politics and leaving folks educated, enlightened, and informed. But with that being said, Brian Nichols signing off here on The Brian Nichols Show. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening to The Brian Nichols Show. Find more episodes at briannicholsshow.com.